About three years ago, I built this small router table. Because my shop is so small, I built it to fold underneath my workbench to save some space. And it's worked well, but it's small and uses a small trim router. And I knew that someday I'd want a full-size router with a lift. So this is a video to build and install a router table, lift, and dust control into the extension wing of my table saw. I've wanted to have dust control under the table, but I've always wondered about the dust that would be sucked into the router as it pulled air in for cooling. So later in the video, you'll see how I tried to overcome that issue and provide clean air to cool the router motor while still collecting the dust. Starbond Adhesive sent me several bottles of their CA glue and uh, accelerator, and I've really enjoyed using it. It's a, a really good product, um, has worked well. I've used it in several projects over the past couple of months. 
there's an affiliate link along with a discount code uh, listed in the description if you'd like to check it out. a blast gate that I came up with a couple years ago and I've built five or six of them for my shop um, and they each have a, a small lever switch on them to turn on uh, the dust control so opening the blast gate activates the, uh, the vacuum. They're made out of three quarter inch Baltic birch.
but this vent is there to allow some air into the dust collection box. If you're doing a routing job that completely covers up the, the hole for the collet, um, if you block that hole off and no air can come into the box, then no dust can leave. So opening that vent uh, allows a little bit of air in and allows the dust to be able to be uh, vacuumed out. This tube is just a four inch flexible pipe and it's connected to the, the bottom of the, of the router or the top of the router um, and then is exited out the bottom. So it, it pulls in fresh air outside of the dust collection box and um, hopefully will provide clean air and extend the life of the router. part here is where I forgot about gravity. I don't know what I thought was going to hold this blast gate open, but uh, glued a, a small rare earth magnet in there to cause some friction against that, uh, that rod and it seemed to solve the problem. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I welcome any comments, suggestions, tips, tricks, things I forgot. Um, leave those below if you care to, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.